paleospinothalamic pathway. Now, paleospinothalamic tract also starts from the receptor free nerve ending and from there the C fiber that is the first order neuron that carries the slow pain sensation reaches to the posterior horn of the spinal cord. The cell body of this first order neuron is located in dorsal root ganglion and like the neospinothalamic tract it may go up and down few segments and then ends in rex lamina 1 and 2. Now, from the rex lamina 1 and 2 second order neuron starts sometimes there may be some interneuron between the first and second order neuron the second order neuron then crosses to the opposite side in front of the central canal and ascends in the lateral funiculus as lateral spinothalamic tract. The pathway is different from the neospinothalamic pathway that only 10 to 25 percent of the neuron reaches the thalamus. Others end in reticular formation in brain stem, tectile area of midbrain, deep to superior and inferior colliculi, the periaqueductal gray area. Now from this area, this brain stem area, neurons may reach the ventrolateral and intralaminar nuclei of thalamus. Others may go to hypothalamus and also area of the basal brain like limbic system. Fibers also end in cingulate gyrus, mediofrontal and insular cortex. Now see that th there is a diffuse connection of neuron in the basal brain. Now this diffuse connection is responsible for the poor localized type of slow pain. Pain can be perceived at two levels that are cortical and subcortical. Cortical level the sensory cortex gives the final perception of pain with all its characters and pain is also perceived at the thalamus. So perception of pain sensory cortex is not absolutely essential as it may occur at the level of thalamus. Now, sensory cortex is responsible for the discrimination and the decision making against the pain. In this picture you can see different segments of spinal cord and nerve that forms the lateral spinothalamic tract. Now fibers from the upper segment in the lateral spinothalamic tract in the picture you can see that it push the ascending fibers from the lower segment laterally or towards the periphery. So tract fiber from sacral, lumbar, thoracic, cervical segment are arranged in lateral to medial direction. You can easily see it from the picture. So if there is a intraspinal tumor or tumor inside the spinal cord it will first damage more medially placed nerves that is upper segment pain sensation will be lost first and if there is a extra spinal tumor then it will damage the more peripherally placed nerve first so pain sensation from the lower segment will be affected in extra spinal tumor. 